Sage CRM provides a strong set of marketing tools that help keep your company in front of leads, prospects, and customers. The starting point for most marketing efforts is the creation of a target list. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to build target lists for your marketing campaigns in Sage CRM. Target lists in Sage CRM are called groups, and to build our group, we'll go to My CRM and the Groups tab. Existing groups will be listed here, which you'll be able to see based on your security rights. Let's go ahead and create a new group. Let's suppose that we want to try to close some deals among our larger open opportunities by sending an email that offers special financing. We'll name our group Open Opportunities and enter a description, which will be by stage, status, and amount. Your groups can be static or dynamic. If you choose static, any records you later add to Sage CRM that match your criteria will not appear in the group. On the other hand, each time you open a dynamic group, the list will automatically refresh to include any new records that match your selection criteria. We'll choose static for this example, and let's make it available to all users. And finally, since we're building a group based on sales opportunities, we'll select opportunities as our entity, and we'll click continue to move forward. On this screen, we'll select the criteria that will be used to create our list, as well as the information that will be presented for viewing. We'll select the information that will be presented for viewing by running through the select column. We'll select company name and click add to target list and the opportunities description, the forecast amount, the person associated with the opportunity, the stage of the opportunity, the opportunity type, and the person's email address. Importantly, before we move on, it is possible to have additional items that you may want to see added to the select column. Now let's use the up and down arrows to arrange the order in which the information will be displayed. And now we'll make our selections for the search criteria. Remember, for this campaign, we want to send our financing offer to our larger open opportunities. So let's select Opportunity Forecasts since we want to set a dollar amount for our search. And next, we're looking for Opportunity Stage since we want to search for opportunities where proposals have been submitted or where we're involved in negotiations. And then Opportunity Status since we want to include only opportunities that are open. The next step is not required, but let's sort our list by company name. So we'll select company name from the selection column and click Add to Sort On. Now we'll click Continue. On this screen, we're presented with the search criteria that we selected on the previous screen. We want to send our financing offer to our larger deals, so let's enter greater than or equal to $50,000 and we only want to include opportunities where we have submitted a formal proposal or are engaged in negotiations. And we want to make sure our offer only goes to opportunities that are in progress. And now let's click Continue, and here's our list. Note that it's sorted alphabetically by company and displays the information we selected and that you can drill down into any hyperlinked record. At this point, you should click Save. Also. Make sure you save the group after making any changes. Once the group is saved, a new set of buttons appear. The Add Records to the Group button allows you to include additional records on an ad hoc basis that don't necessarily meet the search criteria. Now let's look at the Action buttons. You can perform a mail merge into a template that you've created or schedule a task, such as a phone call to each member of the group or you can send an email to the group with the ability to merge information that personalizes your message, and finally, you can export the list to a file. Alternatively, you can perform these as well as additional marketing actions using the formal marketing functionality that you'll find under the Marketing Menu button. You can exclude individual list members using the checkboxes or use the Include or Exclude All buttons to toggle the entire list. Again. If you make any exclude or include selections, you must save the group or they won't be retained. And finally, 
Although I mentioned earlier that a static group does not include matching records added to SATE CRM after the group was created, you can add them to the group by clicking the Refresh button. So to recap, SAGE CRM provides powerful tools to build targeted marketing lists for your campaigns. Keep an eye out for subsequent tutorials where we'll show SAGE CRM's marketing automation in more detail. Give us a call if you need assistance with this or any other feature in your SAGE CRM system. And if you're not using SAGE CRM, here's another reason why you should consider it for your company. Well, that's it for this tutorial. Bye for now.